Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend intuitive love read. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will resonate with you. So let's see what's going on for Pisces for this weekend. Please don't forget to drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. And thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscriptions. I do appreciate it. Okay. All right, Pisces. I have another card, please. One more card. All right, we have the Hermit, the card of Virgo. We have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Two of Swords. Hmm. You're looking inwardly, Pisces. I think some of you may have been recently um, exposed, shall we say. I feel this has to do with the third party, possibly, for some of you. You are in indecision. <clears throat> you are very indecisive about this third party. In the existing party. So now this has been revealed. I do feel this has been revealed. Now remember, energy can flow both ways. So this could be the other person I'm talking about. Um... Because I feel that whatever this is, this was exposed. And because of this being exposed, you're sort of not deciding on anything. Because you need to look within with this hermit energy. You have a lot of questions within you that need answers. And you don't quite know what they are. You have a lot of questions for yourself. A lot of introspection here, Pisces. So tell me about this. Um, tell me about the Seven of Swords. Let's just see. Let's just see. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What was it that was revealed? Yeah. Knight of Wands. It's a playboy, playgirl energy and the Four of uh, Pentacles. This is the player energy, not wanting to let go of this freedom, quote unquote, of being a player, of being a playboy, playgirl, having fun. This could be on either end, Pisces, you or the other individual. Now tell me about this two of swords energy. What are they indecisive about? What is Pisces indecisive about? What is Pisces being indecisive about? What is Pisces being indecisive about, please? What is Pisces being indecisive about? Clarify this two of swords, please. Okay. Yeah, three of swords. This heartbreak. This heartbreak, either you're, you know you're going to break somebody's heart. That's what I'm feeling somebody's heart in this this all of this scenario okay somebody's heart is going to be broken and you know that and that's making you stall that's making you stall because you don't want to you know hurt somebody's heart let somebody down but it is what it is so oh, let's see what's coming toward you Okay, you have the Eight of Wands along with the Fool card, so a decision will be made regarding passion, regarding love. You will go forward and take a chance on love with somebody or in a new direction of life. You will be taking a leap of faith with somebody. This is Aries energy. This is leaping without looking. 
the Eight of Wands. This person could be at a distance. This could be, uh, you could be communicating through messaging. This is the Eight Arrows of Love, right? So you're just throwing them out there to this person. Um, throwing caution to the wind. Oh, so how is this person going to respond? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. They are going to be very reciprocal when it comes to love. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. They are going to be very reciprocal when it comes to love and offering you love. Okay, so tell me what's ahead in the future for Pisces and in this individual. The Knight of Cups. A lot of love offers. A lot of emotional uh, reciprocity going on here. I'm feeling a very balanced give and take of emotions. What else is ahead for Pisces in this person? Oh, the Tower. The Tower. Clarify this Tower. Now, the tower doesn't have to necessarily be a bad thing. It's just something unexpected that occurs. Okay. Well, jeez, really? Okay, somebody's reuniting. This tower is telling me that one of you is reuniting with an outside party here. And this is the tower moment. I'm not sure if, if you're going to choose this person and then want to go back to the other person. I don't know. There's a lot of people in here. Tell me about this third party. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Who is this Three of Cups? Wow, Pisces. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot going on. Okay, tell me about this Three of Cups. Who is this Three of Cups? This will, this will definitely not resonate with everybody. It can't. It's pretty specific. There's a lot of people here. It's like I, I, I'm feeling that you choose between two. Okay? You take a chance with this Ace of Cups person. All right? And then things are going smoothly until one of you decide to reunite and go back to somebody else. That's what I'm feeling. You get up. Let's see. This is a seven of pentacles. This somebody, this person, whoever it is, you or this other person, waited for this third party. Patiently waited. Wow. Patiently waited. So this was like pre-planned. This was pre-planned. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know if it's you or the other party, Pisces. That's going to be different for everybody. Let's see if there's new energy coming in for Pisces. Any new energy coming in for Pisces? Four of Swords. This is a healing energy, a resting energy. I would say so after this storyline. But is anybody coming in for Pisces? Any love surfacing for Pisces? Page of Cups, an apology, could be an offer of love. Could definitely be an offer of love, but I do feel an apology from somebody. Five of Pentacles, somebody maybe that made you feel left out in the cold. Six of Wands, it made you feel like you weren't seen, you weren't heard. Oops. Nine of Cups, okay. Well, your desire and a wish that you've had is going to come true at the end of all this. Tell me about this desire and wish. What is this desire and wish about? This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Tell me about this desire and wish. Tell me about this desire and wish for Pisces, please. <laughs> High Priestess, this is Twin Flame card of mine. You could have wished for a Twin Flame. Maybe. Maybe you're about to get your wish. This is connection with your intuition. You could be getting that wish. You could be also connecting with somebody on a spiritual level. Interesting. Tell me more about this High Priestess and this wish. 
the moon card. Yeah. This is spiritual. This is deep. This is connection on a deep level. This is emotional connection, spiritual connection, intuition times 10 here. Very much so. Wow. Well, through all this turmoil, Pisces, in the end, your wish will be fulfilled. Definitely. On a very deep level. A very high level. High spiritual connection here. Okay, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed that reading. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. Comment. Let me know if this is your story. I want to hear from you guys. You have yourself a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.